Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books. July 16th. A good man fails in anger. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock, and he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? Numbers 20.10 Moses is greatly admired for his meekness and devotion to the leadership of God's people. He had forsaken a throne to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt and considered no sacrifice too great to help them. Yet Moses, the meekest of all men, marred his record by becoming impatient. The children of Israel came to Rephidim, and there was no water for them to drink. When Moses prayed, the Lord told him to take his rod and smite the rock, and the waters would gush forth. Moses followed the Lord's command, and an abundance of water came out of the rock. The smitten rock was a type of Christ who, when bruised for our sins, brought to us streams of the healing waters of salvation. Just before Israel entered Canaan, the water again failed, and the people were about to perish from thirst. They complained bitterly to Moses, and once more he turned to the Lord for instructions. But unfortunately, he failed to follow them carefully. This time, God told him to speak to the rock, and it would give forth water. The rock had already been smitten once, and there was no need to repeat this. To smite the rock a second time would have destroyed the type. Since Christ was to die once in order to give life to all who believe, so it was necessary only to smite the rock once. All Moses needed to do was to speak to the rock. However, the great leader became angry at the unbelief of the Israelites and struck the rock twice and called the people rebels. Moses was provoked, but God did not excuse his anger. He was not permitted to enter Canaan. This lesson helps us to understand that anger hinders us from enjoying God's blessings. Anger cannot be excused, as there is power in Christ to help us control our feelings.